Hello, good afternoon. My name is uh, S. R. Shankapal and I will be talking about skilling rural youth in India. I think India is aspiring to be a 5 trillion economy by the year 2025. By the time we complete 100 years of independence, I think our aspiration is that we become one of the most influencing economy in the world and we want to achieve something like 45 trillion economy. If at all it has to happen and we would like to become the developed country, I think our emphasis should be more on the manufacturing sector. Why on the manufacturing sector? Because it is the only one sector where we can create jobs for all sections of people. Whether you are educated, not very educated, you are totally uneducated, yes, there will be a job in the manufacturing sector. So realizing this, our Prime Minister in the year 2014 launched Make in India mission. So he created, like he launched that mission, Make in India. Now this has to happen means we require lot of skilled human resources. Now how do we get these skilled human resources? That's why again the government of India created a ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship in the year 2014. This ministry estimated a requirement of around 128 million skilled human resources in the time period of, period of 2017 to 22 for a five years period. So to achieve this humongous task, again the Prime Minister announced or launched a Skill India mission during the year 2015. Now, how to make this Skill India happen? It's not a very, like, no, it's not very easy to identify and skill around 128 million people. Skilling in the sense is in different sections from lower level job oriented vocational to something like even up to something like designing products, creating new products and all kinds of things like that. So to do this, to make this thing happen, then the Ministry of Skill Development and entrepreneurship created a number of institutions or it also brought some institution under its fold. These are all the major institutions like General Directorate General of Training, National Council for Vocational Education and Training, National Skill Development Corporation, NSCC, which is a very powerful one, Sector Skill Council, like this, 10 such institutions were created. Then these institutions created number of schemes. To be frank with you, no, there are more than 28 schemes for skilling people. Out of these skilling, the most popular one is the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yoshina. I think it is in the third phase. So they have so far millions of people they have trained. Now to implement these schemes, again, what they did is they created number of training schools across the country. And uh, NSCC funded this, like, you know, it is, was in PPP mode. Public and private partnership, many such schools were created. But main thing is these schools were mainly located in capital or district headquarters or maybe some well-known towns. Now the question is, my research, my understanding is that this training programs, though they have created, a lot of people have been trying, still we can make this training more inclusive and make it reach every corner of the country. This is what is needed. Now, you look at this. If you look at now, today's India's population is around something like 1.417 billion. Out of this, in the age group of 18 to 
23 years we have a population of around 150 million out of this 150 million the school dropouts if i take in the age group of 18 to 23 it's around 68 million out of this 68 million 46 millions are from rural india now these are the kind of youth you find in any village you go to any village you find this kind of youth well built lot of energy but they have nothing to do they have no language skills they are not very disciplined that is another problem they lack digital skills they lack job skills they do not have any land for agriculture purpose or they cannot afford a training in a city or they cannot continue their education you know i think those who have visited villages you find a lot of problems because of this youth now we had it is necessary that we train this youth and put them into some at least use them in the manufacturing sector they need to be trained on language skills job skills and even the behavior skills digital skills and so on now they can be no you look here in the manufacturing sector we have huge shortage of human resources labor resources particularly welder or cnc operator or forklift operator electrician auto mechanic like that thousands of jobs are available and really companies are struggling to get people now my idea is how do we make this training more inclusive and make every corner the training program reach there is one very good example we have there is like ecol abiyan so it's a foundation and they have ecol vidyalayas each ecol vidyalaya is run on a bus a vehicle we call it as vidyalaya on wheels you can see here on a bus they have fitted a number of computers these vidyalayas they go to villages and tribal places and kind of things like that they train people so far they have done a great achievement actually they would like to start around 36 vidyalayas out of the 24 are operational 12 they are still working on that so far they have covered around 830 villages all over the country you can see that and around 14,770 people they have children they have trained and 1,571 children are on rolls and these children are getting they call it as Ikalaya <coughs> Ikal graduates they get around an average salary of 15,000 now how do we solve this labor shortage problem idea is very simple we are spending a lot of money creating large number of training institutions if you've seen Bangalore at least there are 10 or 15 well equipped institutions are there but no students funded by various countries we have this if you go to Pindia said Giriya at least you find very big training institutions and they have no students the reason is they cannot bring students from villages because to stay in a way like in Bangalore for a villager that's it at least a 10,000 rupees are required I don't think I can afford those things so is this better we have the training schools on wheels we can call it as a mobile welding lab you can have mobile machine shop you can have mobile electrician shop you name you can create them on vehicles you can buy old vehicles we can fit them this kind of shoe and these vehicles can travel to various villages see those who are, know our indian geography structure we have states then state we have divided into number of districts each district we have talukas under each taluka we have hoblis under each hobli around 12 to 13 villages are there you visit any village at least you can find 20 to 25 such youth in the age group of 18 to 23 doing nothing so that means each hobby you can find around 300 such fellows so we have to train such kind of people on these 
and once we train once they have that um, you can say the skill job skill they will be able to work anywhere or they can set up their own shops and help the village folk this is the idea i would like to implement now the question is where do we get the money for that lot of money comes from skill development and entrepreneurship for such kind of activity and corporate social responsibility they are investing lot of money on training industries association and local governments if all can pull together can we create this kind of ekal type vidyalayas probably a large number of youth who are not at all productive we can make them productive and we can see that the manufacturing sector get enough workforce and we can improve the productivity and we can take part in making india's aspiration of becoming becoming a 5 trillion economy or 45 trillion economy in the years to come thank you very much